Good morning, guys. Uh, welcome to today's Grip on God's Word. Hey, it's been great to be with you guys these past seven days. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed our videos. Guys, if you haven't started, start gripping God's Word every day. Uh, the simplicity of the grip is a great way to hear God's voice. Get in His Word today, guys, and uh, hear what He's got to tell you. My title today, guys, God Loves Us and Jesus Covered Our Sins. My G is uh, Psalms 32, verses 1 and 2 and 10. Here we go, guys. Verse 1. Blessed is he whose transgressions are forgiven, whose sins are covered. Verse 2. Blessed is the man whose sin the Lord does not count against him, and in whose spirit is no deceit. Verse 10. Many are the woes of the wicked, but the Lord's unfailing love surrounds the man who trusts in him. My reveal, guys, what a blessing it is to have our transgressions forgiven and our sins covered. God forgets these sins when he forgives us. God wants to forgive us and then wants us to walk it out according to his will, not ours. We can have no deceit, but many are the woes of the wicked. We think that they are getting away with some things, but they are not. In the end, all will come to judgment day. God's unfailing love comes to the man who trusts in him. Jesus' blood covers our sins, guys, and we have to do that. My implementation as I said, Jesus covered my sins on the cross, bearing the weight of all of our sins here on earth. Can you imagine that? Oh, Jesus, thank you. Here are the things I will do. Number one, I have to recognize my sin. Number two, I have to know that sin is going against God. Number three, I have to confess my sin to God. Number four, I have to trust God's willingness to forgive me. And number five, I have to accept his forgiveness. Remember, God has unfailing love for me if I just trust him. Let me pray. Our Heavenly Father, thank you for the several days we've been in Psalms and just thank you for what we learned from those. We need to tap into your strength. We need to accept your forgiveness. We need to accept your unfailing love and um, we just thank you so much for all of those things. Thank you for Jesus Christ who got on that cross, walked out of that tomb, and did it all, covering all of our sins. We just thank you so much for that. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Guys, God gives us great promises in this chapter. He wants to forgive us. He wants us to walk it out with no sin and deceit. Remember, the wicked will face many woes. Decide to follow Jesus today and accept his promises. Guys, it's just been absolutely great to be with you for these seven days. And uh, I look forward to next month uh, when I'm with you again. I'm looking forward to uh, Joey starting tomorrow and uh, excited about hearing his grips and just want to lift up Scott and Brian also, man. We love doing this for you guys and hope you guys are enjoying them. Let me uh, pray us out here today, guys. Heavenly Father, look after all the guys looking at these videos. Help them to get in your word every day and teach them your word in a way that pleases you. Just help us to walk it out, Lord, in the way that you want us to. Again, help us to be the men we need to be in our families and help us to be the good Christian brothers to each other that we need to be. Again, thank you for everything you've done for us and just thank you so much for our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. For it's in his name, amen. Okay, guys, I'll see you next month. Have a great day.